Hey yo, welcome back to another episode of Sasa 5. My name is Mukutzeim Labo, and in today's episode, we count down the top five underrated hip hop producers in Zim Hip Hop right now. And in no particular order, here we go. Coming through at number one is one of the best producers you probably never heard of. It is Cottage 47's very own Area 51. I'm upset, upset. Six, boy He's the youngest producer that we have on this list and he is Cottage 47's prized a position. I mean it goes without saying but Cottage 47 are one of the hardest working stables in hip hop right now and they probably deserve an episode on their own but we'll get to that another day. To show his talent he produced about a half of Arguably Indigo Saints' best album, 2020's Portland 51. And in this year alone, he has his tentacles over prolific and Levy the Nomad's collaborative EP, Bolato. This kid is definitely the future. Now it's rare that you find a producer that produced one of the biggest songs of 2020 in hip hop still go unheralded. Well, that's AK for you coming through at number four. Like so is definitely top five one of ASAF's best songs. But not only was it snubbed for song of the year, it wasn't even nominated. I mean, come on, Zim Hip Hop Awards. This is a guy who produced the beat for your cipher. It was right there. Even like so was produced with everything in mind, either to win awards and dominate the charts or to get those brand endorsement deals. We connected like so. It was right there with his signature beta trap style. He even produced one of the biggest songs as well from last year to emanate from Blauer as Pelly Boy featuring MCZK. <laughs> AK is that dude man, that's all I have to say about it and it's time he gets his respect. Moving on to one of the hardest working producers that Blauayo has to offer and that is Larynx. So this guy is your favorite producer's favorite producer if I can put it like that, if you've ever heard anything like that. I've never heard a bad song from Larynx and I've never heard anything bad said about him. That shows the skill and work ethic that he has and he shows you the type of person that he is as well. Come to the city of Kings and this is the guy that you see when you want to make a banger. He's worked with literally every good rapper that the city has to offer and even across borders as well into other cities in Zimbabwe and he has so much more to offer. Not only proficient in making beats, producing tracks but also uh, mastering, mixing, engineering, all of that. He will uh, deliver and he should get his respect. I'm just watching me, and I'm a bride. Moving on to number two, one of Zimbabwe's finest exports in the production game, and probably since Brian Soko, Rhymes, and Simba Tags, I give you Murphy Cubic. Murphy Cubic deserves all the flowers, and I think as the people of Zimbabwe, we can do so much more in appreciating his talent. Where have I heard that before? Anyways, he's produced a lot of a great songs, some that were summer nominated, including You by Holy Ray, as well as some of the biggest songs in South African hip hop. For example, Tus Rodney's Vulan Imnyang, featuring formerly Tia Gas's Ma E. How great is that catalog? <laughs> He even does some music for TV shows as well. That's how great his talent is. And I think we can do so much more in giving him his flowers. And he's not only focusing on foreign talent and bringing it back home, he also played a part in Kayla Black's Only a Minute EP. Coming through at number one, topping off this list is the incredible Jax and arguably one of the most glaring omissions from last year's nominees for Best Producer. Yeah. These days we a man who should be a Mirinivana. Jax the bit bully because he really be bullying these dudes on these tracks, man. And he has a great range of production as well. To even show his talent, this guy produced almost half of the songs in R. Peel's award-nominated album, Muchinjiko, and he showed so much range and versatility that it didn't even sound monotonous. That's how great it was. From 808s, Trap, Boom Bab, and Drill, all of that and more, he was shining on those tunes, and we absolutely love it. 
G. Jack's on the track. All my life. Yeah. All my time. Yeah. For my seeds. So to cap it all off, he even showed his range and skill by producing on an Afro pop fusion a rap project like Songs of Solomon EP, and they still slapped all the same. And that's how much talent he has, and who knows, maybe he's gonna get more recognition as time goes. <laughs> That's been our top five underrated hip hop producers in Zim Hip Hop. We're definitely gonna come through with part two because I know we did leave out some people, but then again, this is only a show for just five minutes, right? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and leave your voice right there in the comments. Get us to 1,000 subscribers. We are still going on strong and we really do appreciate you guys. With that being said, I've been Mukutzeim Lambo. This has been Sensei 5. It's true. Catch you on the next one.